welcome to Belt on Faith Homestead or leaving Egypt, depending on which video platform you are watching this on. Uh, my name is Justin. I live with my wife, Melissa. Uh, we have three kids. We live in a little tiny house and we just do the best we can to serve the Lord and live a self-sustainable life as much as possible. Although admittedly, we have a lot of work to do in both areas. Today's video uh, is about uh, an interview that I come across where Jordan Peterson was interviewing Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, and he, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu being the he, he said that he had approached um, a particular company uh, during a particular outbreak and said that his citizens, 98% uh, of them, are on a database, a medical database, um, and in that Stella is scratching herself on a piece of tin over there. So Benjamin Netanyahu uh, said that in a particular recent outbreak that he was able to talk to a particular pharmaceutical company and that company, um, he convinced that company to give them a massive amount of treatment. <laughs> I'm trying to talk and not get another community strike here. Um, and, and the way he did that was he said 98% of his citizens or so uh, is already entered into a medical database. So we will know how this treatment affects people with things like he said, meningitis, high blood pressure, those kinds of things. Uh, essentially turning the country into a lab. And let me show you that video right here in case you think I'm making it up. We have five main things that we can drive now, human progress. Not only wealth and progress for Israel, but human progress. Uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you one example so you'll see because I don't want to bore you with uh, detailed, detailed plans, I, I, uh, but they are detailed in my mind. Um, we came out of COVID first. I described that in my book, my conversations with Albert Bourla, Pfizer, and I persuaded him to give tiny Israel uh, the, the necessary vaccines to get us out first from the COVID. And the reason I could do that is because we have a database, 98%, a medical database, 98% of our population has digitized medical records and little card, and anywhere you go in any hospital in Israel, north, south, doesn't make any difference, boom, you punch it in, and you know everything about this patient for the last 20 years. I said, we'll use that to tell you whether these vaccines, what do they do to people, not individual people, not with their individual identities, but statistically, what does it do to people with, uh, uh, you know, with uh, meningitis? What does it do to people with high blood pressure? What is it, you know, you want to know that. So Israel became, if you will, the, the lab for Pfizer, and that's how we did it. We got it out, and we gave the information to the world, not only, it's been published in medical magazines and so on. Um, that's a database we have. I intend to bring on that base, database, of medical, personal medical records for entire population, a genetic database, genomes, okay? Give me a saliva, a sample, volunteer. But I'm sure most people would do it. Well, maybe we'll pay them. Now we have a genetic record on a medical record of a robust population. It's got, you have to have diversified populations. We have people from 100 lands. This is a very powerful engine. Now, now let uh, pharma companies, let medical companies, let them run algorithms on this database, okay? I'm telling you right away that I'll give preference for a few years to Israeli firms, but you can create, and then to the world, but you can create uh, you know, a biotechnological industry that is un unheard of right now, unheard of, unimagined even. Uh, and, and these are just uh, the examples. So we can become a light, stave off Iran, become a light onto the nations in uh, groundbreaking uh, technologies uh, that will benefit not only Israel, but our neighbors in the Middle East and the entire world, which is what is happening anyway, but bring it to a higher scale. I find it odd that a leader of a nation would be willing to allow his people to be used as lab animals, really. I find that odd. Not only willing, but desiring it. Not not just like, eh, maybe it'd be okay. It's like, no, I want this done here. I find that a little bit crazy and a little bit odd myself, but that's just me, right? <laughs> um, and you might be able to make the argument that the whole world was being treated that way, and I don't know that I'd argue with you too much. Um, but the point of this 
uh, video, the point of showing you this is to hopefully wake you up and make you to realize that you cannot you cannot place your faith and your trust in governmental leaders. You need to place your trust in the Lord Jesus, right? You need to place your trust in God. You need to serve God with all that you have. Because, quite frankly, if you watch the video, it seems like there was a lot of unknowns there. And a governmental leader was willing to allow a uh, medical company to come in and use his citizens like lab rats. And whether you agree with the most recent doohickeys or not, maybe you think the most recent doohickey is a fantastic thing. Maybe you think it's a terrible thing. Either way, I think we can all agree that we shouldn't probably use people as lab rats. I don't know about you, but I drew a lot of conclusions and connected a lot of dots through that video really fast and really easily. And I'll let you connect your own dots. I'm not here to connect dots for you. Um, mostly because if I do, YouTube will give me yet another strike. Um, but I do want you to pay attention to, these are ways that he was, Benjamin Netanyahu was kind of pitching like how to make the world better. And this is how Israel is going to be a light to the world. Um, Jesus is the light to the world. So anyhow, um, <laughs> I want you to pay close attention because I've made lots of videos on, several videos on ID 2020 and digital identification. Um, how the World Health Organization, the UN, ID 2020, uh, a, a whole bunch of these different um, alliances, uh, groups, and world leadership type groups are pushing for everybody to have a world, uh, to have some sort of uh, trackable, traceable ID, right? Uh, digital ID that can basically carry, from what it sounds like, your health records. Uh, ID 2020 pushes hard for banking information, right? Basically, where your entire ID identity is carried some way or another digitally and on your person as well. And so um, the reason this concerns me as a child of God is it sounds very Mark of the Beastie to me. Like we are uh, paving the road uh, for the Mark of the Beast just to come rolling in. And as a self-reliant, homesteading type individual, an individual that wants to try to grow as much food um, and, and raise good, healthy animals and good, healthy meats and vegetables uh, for our uh, children and for my wife and for myself uh, for a whole host of reasons, uh, as a person that desires to do that, the fact that a governmental leader will use his citizens like lab rats um, further drives home uh not trusting the system i guess you would say i appreciate you guys watching we'll catch you on the next video put your trust in the lord it's the only thing that's going to save you